Okay, we're going to go over the sterile dressing change that you'll be validating in Skills Lab. Make sure that you look at your Mosby discs, the DVDs, because they have excellent information on there. I'm just going to show you quickly the skill itself all put together. So I've gathered my supplies. I've got my sterile gloves. I've got fluffs. I've got 4 by 4s I've got an ABD. I have an alcohol wipe, and I'm just going to say that I've cleaned my table already, and it is dry. I've got um, my culturettes, I've got cotton tip applicators, you need a measuring guide, normal saline because that's what my physician ordered, and um, clean gloves. So the first thing I want to do is open up my supplies. You can open them in any order you want, you can put them in any order you want, whatever works for you and just we're looking at making sure that you know how to open packages and when something does become contaminated, what are you going to do about it? Because you can always rearrange these things. tipped applicators and there's different ways that you can um, set these up to be able to use. I usually just open them up and what I like to do is loosen them up and I get try to get one of them just a little bit higher than the other one so it's just easier to when I want one of them to be able to just take one. And I'm going to put them on the side. Because they're still over the sterile portion they still have a sterile feel. And I'll get my culture ready. The one thing that will help you, I don't want to close that, is that anytime any of your supplies have the plastic bucket, so to speak, underneath, put that downward because um, then your things won't roll. Okay, I think what I might do is get my sterile, sterile saline. And um, this has been opened, so I checked the date, and it's been within 24 hours, so it's okay. And I know it's sterile saline because I've checked my physician's orders already. So I know exactly what he wants. I checked the nurse's notes also to see what have they done in the past. You know, how many dressings did they need? Was there a lot of drainage? Did they need lots of dressings? So make sure you check the physician's orders and the nurse's notes. Also, when you've come into the room and identified your patient by his armband, and he can repeat his birth date back to you. See if he's having any discomfort, because if he is, make sure you pre-medicate him before you do any of this. So he's ready. I've got my supplies ready. I'm just going to move them over now. And I've checked allergies also, because I don't want to be putting tape on here if he's allergic to tape. Make sure you take the tape off the correct way by holding the skin so that you're not peeling a layer of skin off with this. In. Now I'm going to put my just my clean gloves on, and I also have my biohazard bag ready to go here. off. Okay, I want to make sure I look at the dressing. Type, amount, color, odor. Taco. What type of drainage is on here? What color is it? Does it have an odor? Don't stick your nose in there, but see if there's an odor when you take it off. Make sure again, if you're describing the amount, you can say that a certain amount is saturated. That means if the entire fluff is saturated, it's completely saturated with dress drainage. Otherwise, use um, coins or fruits or any type of universal size so everybody knows. I'm going to take my gloves off with the dressing inside to keep it contained. Then I would go ahead and wash my hands. Now I want to get my sterile gloves on. So I've got everything ready I think to go. 
And again, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with the sterile gloving because your Mosby did an excellent job on that. And I am going to move some of this over so I have room. I, you also want to make sure that you note the skin condition. I looked at the dressing to see what all was on the dressing. The, a very big part is looking at the wound itself. You want to see, is there any type of um, redness, arrhythmia around the site? You want to check out the depth also. Now, since I open this with one of them out a little bit, I can go ahead and just take one without contaminating the other one. And what I want to do, I'm going to put this in here. And technically, if the wound was a real wound, I would it would get dampened. That way I can see the depth. Otherwise, you can take your finger and go down. Just don't be touching the wound. And then I would measure accordingly without touching that, just putting it up to the measuring guide to see the depth of the wound. I also want to note the other measurements of the wound. Again, don't. if you did touch the skin, toss this. So now I have information about the skin, the wound itself. Now I think I can go ahead and put my dressing on. A lot of things you want to look for in a wound. Make sure that you know them because we might be asking you some questions. Okay, I don't want to turn my back to anything. Oops, I'm not here. could do if need be is take one of these and you could go down and wipe it. Toss it, take another one, bring it out, go down the side, wipe. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and get this next part ready. two by twos, separate them, and my ABD, put it on, blue side up, I think I've gotten everything done. Take my tape and secure it. The one thing I didn't incorporate with this because of the time constraints is the, um, the culture. And when I would do that is after I have wiped the sides and I've assessed my wound, I would go ahead and take the culture of the wound and make sure I get everything labeled on there that I need labeled and send it off to lab. So make sure that you incorporate that with your dressing change. We just wanted to quick like go over the dressing itself. Also make sure you check your Mosby. Like I've said, there's a lot of good information on there. And when I'm done with this, I would go ahead and I'd go chart the type, amount, color, odor that's on the dressing and make sure you, the skin integrity, the wound itself, all the measurements that you got and how the patient tolerated it. And then just go ahead and do all of your post steps and clean up. Take the biohazard bag to the biohazard bag room. And that sums it up.